This is how to play Slaughter Beach by Clutch. Now, Slaughter Beach is one of the singles from Clutch's new record, Sunrise on Slaughter Beach. Clutch has been one of my favorite bands since I was a kid. I've seen them countless times live, and I'm curious to know what your favorite Clutch album is. Let me know down below in the comments. I would say my favorite personally. Hmm. I gotta go with Elephant Riders with the self-titled at a close second. As always, you can follow along with this lesson and every other lesson on the channel on both guitar and bass over at patreon.com slash does it doom. We've got printable PDF tabs, guitar pro tabs, interactive sound slice video tabs where you can sync the lesson up with the video and just an awesome community of people in general, Facebook groups, Discord server. Go ahead, head on over to patreon.com and check it out. For today's lesson, I'm using a 1991 Gibson Les Paul Standard in drop D tuning. I've got a set of 10 to 48 strings on here. It's been a long time since I've tuned up to drop D. Played it a lot as a kid, of course, but this one's in the key of D minor and the first riff goes like this. <laughs> So D natural minor here, you've got open sixth string, the root. The second fret here on this fourth string is going to be a major second. And the third fret here is going to be a minor third. You got the root here. This is a flat seventh and of course a root. So all natural minor. And then here you got a perfect fourth back to a minor third. Second riff here goes like this. So natural minor with some chromatic passing tones in here. You've got the full fifth and sixth strings for that open D chord. So we've got root five power chords rooted on the fifth string. And then sliding down. So all third and fifth frets here with the open. And then the final time through, we've got this little run. For amps today, I've got a green Mad Amp GT120 MV, and we're gonna be driving that with our Does It Doom Fuzz Coven One Knob Silicon Fuzz. For the bridge slash solo section, I'm gonna use a Ghost Echo from Earthquaker Devices. Then the third riff here. So we've got this Dorian major sixth in this one, but otherwise still using those notes from before. So 
So the vibrato there, of course, on the flat seventh. And so we're not gonna run through the bridge solo here, but if you wanna learn that part, as well as the rest of the song using the tab, you can check it out at patreon.com slash does it do. I wanna send a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord and Riff Messiah tier producers. For more content just like this, Watch the YouTube video directly below me, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.